Wild card weekends in the books. All four games are relatively close and pretty good, man. Ending up with that Panthers at Saints. Epic finish, man. I got the recap of that game. We're starting right now. What up, though? What's up, everybody? It's Aaron Duncan here with the Terry Blunt this Sports Talk. This is the channel we might not tell you what you want to hear, but we're definitely going to tell you what you need to hear. And on this channel, I give you recap and analysis of the best division in the NFC, the NFC South. So if you want to see more videos about the Falcons, Saints, Bucks, or Panthers, consider hitting that subscribe button below and giving this video a thumbs up. But hey, real quick, down below, let me know what you thought about those refs last night in the game overall. Do you think they should have, they really affected the game, or do you think they won and lost the game for the Panthers, or what, man? Let me know what you think is going on. All right, man, let's get into it, man. The wild card weekend ended with the epic finish with the Panthers versus the Saints. Um, the Panthers fell short, 26-31, to 31, on the road at Sierra, uh, in New Orleans, excuse me. New Orleans will advance to move on to go to Minneapolis to play Minnesota in a rematch from week one. Um going to be a, they, they moved on they they made more plays than the panthers did down the stretch uh yeah there were some controversial calls from the refs down the stretch uh with the intentional grounding that probably was too close to call usually they don't call that usually they don't call it that fast and there was some controversy with the assistant refs trying to talk to the head ref and he wasn't hearing it trying to tell him that it wasn't should have been a foul who knows but it doesn't come down to the refs the refs have been horrible all weekend um, we even had a ref retire after that Chiefs Titans game because such bad refereeing and so much backlash he was probably going to get and still get it. But you can't count on the refs. You got to expect them to make some calls. You still have to make the plays. The Panthers had plenty of opportunities. Um, the, the game seemed similar to the ones before. I mean, they kind of uh, went back and forth a little bit with a little bit of defense, and then the Saints took the lead. The Panthers had a chance to take the lead, but they had a drop touchdown and then missed field goal by Graham Gano and. A couple seconds later, Drew Brees throws it to all of all people. The ex Carolina Panther Ted Ginn on the eighty yard bomb, and that had to crush the hearts of the Panthers faithful because Ted Ginn could have been on Carolina's team and they could have used him last night in a game like that. Since they the lack of weapons finally caught up to him, I knew it might anyway, just because we saw it finally catch up to him when they went to the Super Bowl when they played Denver and Denver just kind of locked down their receivers and it it, it caught up to him. Um, Cam Newton. All the haters, as bad as he played against the Falcons, all the haters, um, they're probably still going to hate. These people still hate him. He played a great game. Him and him and Drew Brees kind of, they dueled it out. It was a shootout, man. Um, Drew Brees just, some of the plays that Michael Thomas was making was ridiculous. Uh, the Panthers, they kind of just went into the game and said, hey, we are not going to let Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram beat us. And I think they have, what, 22 carries, 41 yards between the two of them. And they did a great job. I mean, they might have had the, they might have shown the formula to the rest of the NFC of what you need to do. Just sell out and stop the run, make Drew Brees beat you. Um, it's just too bad that the Panthers didn't have the pass rush um, to compensate for their lack of talent on the outside. The pass rush had been good all year, but Drew Brees is so good at getting the ball out quick um, that he was able to make plays. That's why he's Drew Brees. I mean, Drew Brees, I had my doubts about him. He made the plays last night. Michael Thomas, I, I really give him a bunch of the credit because he made some crazy clutch catches that looked like they could have Hit the ground, but when he saw the replay, he perfectly placed his hand underneath the ball and just made the plays, man. I, I had a feeling that um, the Saints' defense wasn't going to be what we thought it was. Panthers kind of moved the ball at will, but the story of the game was the red zone. You can't go to the red zone and kick field goals against a team like Drew Brees that can take advantage. I mean, the defense played well enough early on to give the Panthers a chance, but they got to score points, and you can't trade touchdowns for field goals. The Saints knew what they had to do. They got in the red zone. They made plays happen. It just seemed that uh, the Panthers were just ill-equipped defensively to stop everything. They got the stop when they needed to at the end of the game, giving the ball back to Carolina. Carolina had that; ch they had a chance. Um, I don't know what happened with the interception. They didn't review the catch. I mean, I thought Mike Thomas might have dropped it, which would have gave them the ball at midfield. I don't know. Like I said, the refs were rough the whole game, but it is what it is. Like I said, you can't count on those guys. What can you say? Cam Ball, Christian McCaffrey. He balled. We finally got the breakout run we wanted from him all year where he kind of struck out and left everybody in the dust looking like Kent, uh, Stanford. Him and then Olsen, of course, he balled out. Uh, Funches, he played okay. He had some plays. The one play down the stretch where he probably could have went up for that ball and got it was kind of it, it, it was kind of piss-poor effort in my opinion. And like I said, it just 
it just was ironic to see that the lack of weapons finally caught up to the game where Ted Ginn Jr. had 100 yards receiving on the other side. And it just it, it just pretty much sums up the Panther season. Missed opportunities. Uh, you missed the opportunity to sign Ted Ginn. You missed opportunities to catch the pass. You missed opportunity to miss a field goal. Graham Gano, the most accurate kicker in the NFL this year, missed the 25-yard field goal, but turns right around and boots a 58-yarder. That's just the type of stuff that happens. I mean, it's the playoffs. You got to... You got to make those plays, and they end up getting, they end up probably being the difference of the game. Because if he makes that field goal, they're down to only a few points. They can make a field goal on the last drive. Granted, you can say all this stuff happens and what would happen, what could happen. Of course, when that stuff happens early in the game, it changes the whole dynamic of the game. So it should have, could have, would have, definitely. But who knows what would have happened had the score actually been different. Maybe the Panthers would have had a lead. Who knows? So you can't really blame it on those players, all on those players. But those are big things that happen, and that's why every play counts in the playoffs. There is no tomorrow. So we'll see where the Panthers go from there. The Saints, they're moving on. Um, I don't know. Minnesota, they beat them the first time, but they had Adrian Peterson. So we'll see what they can do. Like I said, I think the Panthers might have given the formula that if you can get pressure with four, which they probably can a little bit better than Carolina because they have a little bit more speed rushers instead of just a group effort on a blitzing, and they have the DBs to lock down on the outside, and they have the linebackers to be able to stop the run. I think you can hang you can hang you can hang your hat on stopping the run, letting Drew Brees try to make plays. So we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, you guys let me know what you thought about the game down below in the comments. Uh, with that, uh, I'm signing off. Saints advance, but I'm out.